This is the same map where we started the series of Fortitude versus Moon. So usually Foggy always Moon inspired. No Beastmaster right off the bat, which was all the rage last patch. And that is a clear indicator that it is the Hunter of Demons. Yes, sir. And the Archmage on the other side. Now, Fortitude has shown his willingness to play very aggressive, even on level 1, perhaps. On this map, though, it's pretty hard to make work, because there's no small green camp that the Militia can easily go to to creep level 2. We never see it being attempted at the Murlocs. Maybe that will be possible, but it's very easy to creep jack, so maybe not the best uh, idea there. And we see the farm again. In the main base, which looks a bit weird, next to the gold mine, which, yeah, maybe coming in as a Demon Hunter deterrence. Would love to see that here executed. Yeah, it is the anti-Demon Hunter build that I think Starbuck showed us at the War 3 Champions Finals. You kind of create a little pocket in your base and there you keep the peasants safe. It's a super nice idea. They came up with that really quickly, I gotta say. I'm impressed with some human play recently. Yeah, it does take a tower, of course, to complete that wall towards the gold mine, and then behind the gold mine, a blacksmith, maybe? I suppose there's plenty of ways you can go about it. First creep camps being taken by both item picked up, gloves of haste versus claws. Oh, the footy wakes up the merc camp. Ooh. But, uh, well, gets punished for it himself. A bit. Yeah, so, a little slow down. I love that replenishment potion, man. Best item drop, probably, or one of the best item drops, if you play Emulation, which is certainly the first skill point. And so far, 40 doesn't have to deal with the harass, but in combination with poison, that's a lot of AoE damage now. Oh, it's not level 2 yet. And we do have a fourth farm. 42 at this time, switching it up. He will be expanding. Not bad, showing a variety of builds here today. Not just the one-trick pony. Oh, would be a huge last hit. Would be insane. But oh, it's got burn. He doesn't yeah. have emulation. Yep. Uh, I mean evasion, of course. Down to forty percent. That's not too much. Archmage level two delayed for quite some time, as the Murlocs are still standing. The shadow camp, shadow priest camp, is also still standing. But now, is it time for some peace for 40? Here is where the Reju potion kicks in. Yeah, the early game in the right moment, the replenish can be absolutely gorgeous. Imar are now fighting against Militia. That's a fight he gladly takes. Absolutely. Both heroes now in level 2. Could get the banner burned last hit, maybe. Oh, but didn't quite see the opportunity or get the opportunity, I suppose. So, pretty solid expansion. That was not... That's scary. Did he even lose a peasant? A I don't think so. Do we see any big corpses here? Nope. Foggy's archer also falling. Goes for a shop early. Man, this is something... When did you ever see this? Like, tower first? Okay, I've seen that variation. But shop first? It's a smart adjustment against immolation. Is it really necessary, I wonder? One peasant and one footy were hurt. The AM it's, as well, I guess, but the AM can just run away. Maybe scared of the boots, because we do see the boots. And the telestaff, TP sold by the demon. I think Foggy isn't too satisfied with this early game. This wasn't really big damage that he was able to do, but still, a delay on the expansion, and tier 2 for the elf about to finish. Tower up as well. I like 40's position once again. Foggy wants level 3. Clearly, there's no town portal anymore. That is very hurt. Archers. Don't last it with an ancient. Don't. Okay, he does. Footy! Oh! Oh! Uh, it's your up. lucky day, buddy! Oh, oh no! <laughs> Shadow Melt saves the archer for a tiny little bit, and now. Yeah, that's what you get for arriving too late. Let's get killed. Mask nowadays is actually pretty damn good for the Demon Hunter. As the lowers are coming up for Foggy. What second hero is it gonna be? Normally for mid game tempo, we expect the Naga. Well, I guess Foggy can do for the time being whatever he wants because tier 2 and the scary time for 42 is still far, far, far away. Okay, is it creeping then? No, now it's boots time, right? Gone with the gloves. 
Put them on your feet. There it is. But yeah, should be easy holds with immolation. But I think the major goal is to keep Foggy defensive. Oh, drain his mana. Lures. <gasps> the lures. Wisps are ready. Takes three wisps for a level two water elemental, though. It's kind of expensive. Also, lots of footies in here. That yeah, looks like a cancel. On the cost oh, of nice how many footies? Yep. Saves it right away. That's a kill if I ever saw one. And there's no second lore. It's just an expansion. Detonates coming in. Hits quite a bit, but not killing too much yet. Moonju's te heavily taxed here. It's about to hit daytime, by the way. Healing might be a problem later on, but for the time being, it's okay. Footmen all having to be sent back. The Demon Hunter is chasing for more kills. He's getting close to level 4, in fact. Footy, scout the expansion! Can he get the cancel? Oh, if he gets the cancel. He's looking for mercs. During daytime, two mercs become available. 25 seconds out. Ooh, all the footies are so hurt. I'm not too sure, man. How far? A oh, water elemental is far away. It's down to the Archmage, but the Archmage is surrounded. <laughs> The demon gets level 4. Okay. Fortitude maybe feeling himself a bit too much. Won't get the cancel. It's gonna have to TP out. Get to the shop. Heal up. That footman. <laughs> Just barely makes it home. Bit of an overcommitment, eh? Yeah. I think it was kind of okay, though. It cost him, I think, three footies and a Shadow Priest. I think that's all right. Now the replenishment comes into effect and 40, even killing the critter sheep here. God damn, ruthless the guy. Time for Foggy to unfold his expansion and finally get some tier 2 units. I don't see a second hero yet. For who? <laughs> for Foggy. It'd be kind of funny if he plays demon solo. <laughs> 40 oh, needs I love Naga, this, by right? the way. Look at the main base for uh, Fortitude. As the peasants chop down more of the tree, he builds a new farm to re-establish the semi-wall. Oh. Or the, you know, uh, half wall. And the Demon Hunter, he's got the tele staff ready, but no wisps to staff onto. Also, he has no TP anymore, so he can't really go in. But 40, I like his position and... Well, Foggy, he's doesn't have many units, especially at the moment. The Demon Hunter is very strong, but everything else perhaps not so much. Naga now on both sides. This is clearly the patch of the Naga. I've never seen as many Nagi as in the past three weeks. It's crazy. Nagi? Nagi. Nani? <laughs> what elemental? Before the bird? Oh, okay. Oh, you want to kill the Naga, and that might be easy to do. Oh, oh maybe pass, not so easy. She's pass. got the boots, she's got the heal pot. All right, looking Lots solid. Do we have to fan? Nope, not really. So these are the disposable footmen doing some damage, but getting killed and wrecked. We established two base, two base. Oh, the water elemental left behind at the entangled. Oh, very nice. While well, the rest of the army distracted, and that cost like two footies. Oh, he's going, he's going in for the kill. Look at this confidence. Look at this confidence by forty, <laughs> and he gets the kill as well. Okay, may lose the Archmage for it though. Okay, that trap was not so good. <laughs> <laughs> yep, here's the Naga. Boop, waiting for the kill until the Naga gets some experience as well. Wild scenes, as so often, dating back oh to GCS God. 2015. <laughs> the games between the two are just a beauty. Archmage Tavern revived. He's probably gonna have to deny this Naga. Ooh, not to the demon. I don't know how much time he's buying. Who? 40. The Naga can be revived easily. How much gold does he have? Okay, he doesn't have much gold. I thought he would have a bigger bank. Not exactly. But Foggy's tier 3 is also super far out. When are we yeah. finally going to see these bears? Just starting. So in two and a half minutes, maybe? Until then, the Demon Hunter has to hold the fort, has a telly staff and goes in. Is that a wall off? Should be. Must be. Nice wall. Dude, 40. Is he looking good or what? Yeah. I I was a little afraid that he's not up to the task here today and just gets swatted in this gruesome group. But no, man. He's really, really impressive. Foggy up to the task for now. Slow on the Demon Hunter immediately. But yeah, as we said, he can easily staff out. There's no Naga. Oh, only now, but he gets the big one. 
which is a health stone for 40. Foggy is not resting, creeping up the Naga to three. Oh, that one dryad. Uh, get the memo. <laughs> Donation to the gods. Oh, is Foddy pushing already? 67 supply only. Oh yeah, he wants to strike fast. And perhaps not even towards the expansion, but towards the main base. I was going to use the militia as well to creep the merchant. That's really cool. Maybe level 4 Archmage. Big level up right there. Team Hara though, ready at the back. But the Swords with the slow are ready as well. A really nice Sorcerer's positioning. Knew that the Demon Hunter would be coming in from the yeah. south. And the Breakers. And the Surround! Chain Lightning! Point Lightning! Oh, I mean, oh my god, he gets a kill! 42 Romantic! <laughs> Romantic! <laughs> He's celebrating on his stream 1000%. Double heal scroll now on both sides. Both needed, obviously. Where's this push going now? Main expansion. You can choose, 40. Try yeah, it. the beast. Double Try. scroll of healing. Dude. Army. Again, skipping the mortars, which I am once more in Blade favor of. Are under attack. I think Foggy has this uh, Dryad rally point somewhere where it's not supposed to be. Another Dryad just gone. And yeah, good luck holding that push against 7340 supply. Hunter's back. Got a big healing potion now given over from the Naga. Oh, there's not much mana for emulation now, is there? No, there's nothing. Subi Mask is helping to a degree. Archers and Dryads and the Berserker take care of the tower, but who takes care of the Demon Hunter? He needs a sip of that greater healing potion soon. The Dryad's in trouble again. Oh my god, Let's go dude. On the Berserker, big kill right there. Not ready with the dispel. Berserker goes down. Ancient of War as well. The expansion is already not fully mining. And, well, Foggy doesn't have what he needs. He needs bears, but he's got none of them. He didn't have the time. The early wasn't good enough. Fortitude just kind of outplayed him. This is pretty damn clean by Fortitude. Some reinforcements get intercepted. All right. But if you get a tree for that or the Demon Hunter, that's totally fine. No potion, no more. 1-0 for Fortitude, who goes 3-0 and oh against Night Elves here today. And I heard the scene saying that human sense no chance against Night Elf and especially Immolation, Remo. Fortitude proving them all wrong. Yeah, really cool play. Love seeing Forty look this good again. I feel like he's had a, little, a few blimps of good performances every now and then, but this is some potential that I feel like I haven't seen in some time. Very nice. And... Level 2 Immolation, I think, not the right call. Like, in these games where evasion is skipped, we notice, without evasion, this fella is a lot more squishy. Exactly. The mischance missing is not that great, but uh, you it's funny, you, you talk about potential. I wanted to say the same. In my opinion, and that's maybe a little bit of a hot take, if all the top human players, Chemiko, Sock, and Fortitude, play to the fullest and show us their full potential, I think 40 is the best of the three. I think Chimiko is the best if he plays perfect, but I'm a Chimiko fanboy. Um, Fortitude, like, what really disappointed me about him for the last year is he hardly ever innovated. He just ran, ran through the motions and he just played the standard stuff and oftentimes that would fail. But at the moment, he gets ahead early and he executes and he kills. Question is, will this style still work if he doesn't have that good of an early game? Well, we're about to find out. It's once again Autumn Leaves. And we'll see if Foggy, just as Moon, switches to the Keeper or if he sticks with the Immolation and if Fortitude gets the Expo up as flawlessly as he did against Moon. 1800 people watching. Love to see that in the middle of the day. We still got this series coming up as well as Moon vs. Labyrinth and the lower bracket final and the Weekly Cup and the NA Lul Cup. It is a busy day here at Back to Warcraft and I will be part of a cooking stream later. Uh, our Ravaraland organizer Gideon aka Yannick has invited and I'll of course accept the call. 
We eat burgers with waffles as buns. <laughs> wow, okay. Remo not a fan. Look at this face, dude. <laughs> Is that disgust that I see? Tell you what. You shouldn't knock it until you try it. But it sounds a bit weird. It does. Uh, sound we weird. will be looking forward to your resume. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Germans and food, says Todd. There's a, there's a, there's a point. Smoking now. Thank you for the 42 month resub. As we're waiting for. Ah, 40. Who's here now? I think that was some celebration due. 3 and 0 oh for 40 in the winner bracket. Super impressive. Everybody is cooking, uh, look, looking for the go, and we're looking at our sub count that goes up. Thank you, Slush Pit, for the new tier one sub. 40, one step away from making it out of the group. Could be a 4 and 0 oh against the Night Elves, the dreaded Night Elves, and not just any, but Moon and Foggy. I mean, of course, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves here, but he's really close, and I. More than him winning, more than, you know, uh, us seeing Night Elves lose for once. Uh, what I enjoy most here is just Forty looking fresh. Forty looking really strong, playing well, and the confidence, dude. The fact that he ran back in there with the Naga to go for the kill, <laughs> knowing fully well he was going to die. It just, I love seeing that in players, when they just, you know, they have that spark. And the spark is igniting a fire. And that fire is extinguishing another fire, the Demon Hunter one. We got 40 on the upper right hand side, punching for the round of 8. And Foggy, what's his build? Ancient of War towards the right, that could mean Keeper, could mean Demon, could mean Warden. What's up with the Warden? We haven't seen her in a while in this matchup. She can be very strong, but unlike the Demon Hunter and kind of the Keeper, not on level 2. She needs longer. And I, I would be terror. I would completely be shocked if it's a warden. I think there's going to be <laughs> not a warden. <laughs> demon. Yeah. I wasn't sure if keeper or demon. Yeah, I think uh, in general the 10 HP buff for peasants is not that noticeable at the moment. But for a warden and the already weakish fan of knives, it's really bad. And why would you go for a warden these days if you have a demon hunter? I mean, on the right map, where you can creep a lot, get level 3 and 4 reliably, she is still super mobile. Can blink into peasants and all that. And on level 5, it is hard to kill the peasants nowadays, but it is still doable. Plus, she has a great ultimate. So does the demander. But it doesn't have downtime, Neo. That's right. Question in chat, who pioneered the engine of war creep? That is the question that I can't answer. I don't really know. I would say it's Moon, but I, I'm really not sure. If someone in chat knows that, please educate us. Oh yeah, it's something you don't think about a lot. It's just been part of the meta for so long. Yeah. It must have been amazing for Blizzard back then, when they saw the Ancient of Warcry for the first time. And they were like, oh my god, look at these guys! Reinventing the wheel! <laughs> because I'm pretty sure they never thought of Ancient of Warcry. Remo. Uh... Do you really think Blizzard was watching Warcraft games back in the 2000s? Yeah, some of them. <laughs> like, you know, uh, two of the 500 employees or so. Okay. Okay. Keep up that positivity. Oh, this could be a strong timing for Foggy. He's running across the map looking for the expansion harass. This is gonna be fiery times. Alrighty, he's around the corner. Got a little bit of extra mana and HP thanks to the circlet. And the big creep is still up for grabs. Going in with immolation. How clean is this going to be for 40? Again, no evasion. Pretty good defense so far by 40, but the creep isn't dead yet. Big detonate, by the way. Ah, right, it is evasion. Wow. There was a lot of evasion not going through. And the demon is finding more kills. This is painful, but at least a full camp will go to 40 in the end. So, two peasants lost and a footy. That was a successful first attack. Okay, but it's not the end of the world. You can definitely stabilize from there. 
as there is no counter expansion, but a Huntress push. Ooh. Demon Hunter Immo Huntress push. I think I've not seen that yet. That also means he's not going to have mana burn against the water elementals, most likely. A player's which could be a concern, but attack. where's the second Where's the second Ancient of War? Foggy, you got 700 gold, bro. Yeah, that's a little problematic. Thank you, SNS, for gifting ah, this sub to Sav. Oh, he didn't move the mercs in time. Oh. 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 That's not good. B2W, yikes, in the chat, everybody. Thank you, Nykul, for the 4613 sub. Long, long time, closing in on the four years. And Foggy's closing in on that lower bracket. <laughs> oh, that's so bad, dude. That's... 240 gold just gone. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, this is an AP push towards the main now. Distraction at the expo. And we grow a little garden in the front yard. But man, this is desperation. Alright, 40. If he sends a militia there and scouts it, he wins the game. But will he? Foggy is nicely distracting at the expansion. He's being like, look at me, look at me, I'm over here, look at me. <laughs> yeah, you think? That's how he's sitting there in Georgia? Yes, sir, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so the owl and the critter saw it, but 40 didn't see this yet. As he's still busy in the north. One arcane is up, Foggy level two and a half. And these APs, man, they are growing strong. Apes together strong. If he gets you... defend in time, maybe he can still take out the APs, but yeah, that's that's pretty scary. Okay, this is interesting now. 40 is a really solid player mechanically, and he knows how to execute a strategy. Everything goes to, according to plan. Foggy is throwing a big-ass monkey wrench into those plans right now. And now he'll have to be quick on his feet, adjust on the fly. And that's normally not what for 42 is so known for. <sighs> okay. Nice that Foggy has this desperate pocket strat after a failed early game. Now 40 saw it. And he's starting to creep for level 3 Archmage. Yep. That's a lot of APs. Good luck with that. He started the tech and a creep spot. Now we got level 2 water elementals, but how much of a help are they really? Oh. It just starts to take at the expansion. I think I like that. Or he's going to try to hold on here in the main perhaps for as long as he can. But he can give up the, the main base at some point, perhaps. Oh, this is a very interesting game now. Okay, 40 cancelled the tech in the main for that tech at the expo. Trying to tower up and buy some time. Wisps are ready. Might even get a dispel off. Very low mana on the Shadow Priest, so not much heal. The Demon Hunter is also racing up to three very hard here to do the calculation in your head. If you call to arms all the militia, can you take out the APs? It's so hard to gauge. Against Moon, he used all the militia to take care of the Demon Hunter, but this looks a little hopeless at the moment. Tech only at 25%. Defend only started now, and it's not even that impactful. Floodgates open. Let him burn. Do you want to get back there? No. Oh, the nice wall. Saves him for the time being. He's waiting for Defend to finish. Then the footage will be very good against the APs, but this is where the Immolation is still going to come in. Oh, Archmage got a lot of peasants going down already. Look at them! The little bit of splash damage from APs doing lots of work. So this mining has been shut down. Foggy also tacking behind it. Oh, he's portaling all the workers. Okay. Legion scroll. Oh, look at it. We should have a healing uh, meter. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I, I, I wanted that too, but unfortunately, the API is so super bugged that you can't really track healing done. Well. But the Chinese have it in their overlay. Well, the, num <laughs> the numbers are still wrong, guys. I tested it. All right, 40s rebuilding at the expansion. Okay. On one base, one base. Rifle caster normally outperforms huntresses by a mile. 
So I think Foggy has to either expand or go tier 3 real quick. One of the two. Well, has to wait for the tier 2. Maybe he can continue pressure with the panda. But yeah, it's time for 40 to get a little bit of relief. Has to, he has to rebuild so much and he's still so filthy rich. He still, despite all the reconstruction, has a thousand gold to work with. Is it Naga time again? Naga, 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 Naga. Naga, 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 Naga. Nope. Naga, Naga, na, Naga. More like Noga. Nope. No, no. Forces are under attack. All right. Time to burn these trees. Korea, Korea. Footman deal with it. Maybe a potential expansion at the former main. And these games between the two are so weird. And Foggy, what do you do with these hunts now? Oh, he's gonna take out the barracks here with the APs. That's actually pretty valuable. Prevents the rifles for a long time. Okay, Foggy realizing this well. Dude, the demon is just chasing this Archmage. Yep. Foodies are there for the block, though. Quick thinking. This is such a weird human base. <laughs> this is probably how the AI in the campaign is building a base, too. I think 40 is still on the easiest position. What's the next step to do? Should you re-expand in the main base? Should you just creep the map? Should you push? What do you do? Plenty of options. Foggy also mass production at the moment. More moon wells. Lores are coming finally. And the mana wars, well, have begun. It's level 1 siphon versus level 1 mana burn. The 1-1-1 one, one, one build, not a big fan of the Demon Hunter. He's so far away from level 4. But we are getting closer to our sub goal. Thank you, Trapper MD85, for the two year resubs. Greeting from good old Hamburg. Which part of Hamburg are you moving to, by the way? I'm uh, getting. Uh, I'm, I'm almost moving out of the city. I'm a little suburb boy. Yeah, what's it called? Groß Hansdorf. Groß Hansdorf. <laughs> we have to try to make a Carson pronounce that. <laughs> Good luck. Krosensdorf. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I will never forget when he called the demon hunter the Damenjäger. <laughs> that was glorious. Oh yeah, it's pretty far. It's like at least 40 minutes away by the train, right? Yep. Alrighty. And then but I got you know when you when, when you want to buy that mansion on the hill, you gotta you gotta go out in the open. I'm gonna switch to night elves and play mass hunts only because I'm living in Groß Hansdorf, you know. Are under very good, very good. Mm -hmm. Let's have a fight, everybody. Panda level 3 putting in the heat. There was a heal scroll against it, but Demon Hunter also has a heal scroll. Blood Mage is surrounded. Korea, Korea. Not much longer. Trying to pass a potion. Not in time. Foggy is losing some units here and there. But it's still looking so good. I was trying for the next round. Can the Archmage get out? He might be nope. stuck here. Nope. Watch nope. Elemental Summon. He's got a heal potion. Oh, he's still stuck. I think this is the first map that a human loses here today. Yeah, seems like it. GG. All right. This was a very weird game. Foggy with a good strat. The AP pushes one specialty of his that 42 didn't quite pay enough attention to. If he had scouted this one, could have been, could have been his game. Exactly. Man, this was a very good early game for 40 and then Foggy with some mistakes making 40 situation even better. And then there was this pocket strat. AP push. Lin fell to it before in a different matchup. Now it's 40 with the first loss of the day. And we're down to a best of one. Please don't tell me that the downward spiral is starting now and 40 is losing this series and is also losing in the lower bracket. We can't do this to all these humans. They had hope. I think, like, masochistically, the humans are hoping for 40 to lose right here so they have more justification for their favorite activity. For whining. Which is whining. Exactly.
Ben PG, thank you for the sub as well. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure you're right. Like 50% of the human just want more stats and bigger pie charts. Some just want to see the world burn. Stats don't lie. <laughs> they spell disaster for you. Yeah, for the human, that's kind of true, especially this tournament. Our decision will be made on concealed. And this screams one base for me. On 40 side. Are you smiling at Todd in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the pie chart is. Uh, <laughs> I feel like we, we gotta we gotta evolve that meme somehow. Did, uh, did some, you cre see some creative people have to, have to start doing something with pie charts. Did you see that pies. Orc is o overtaking human in the all time earnings? I did see. I did see. Well, even more reason for 40 here to crank it up a notch. Yeah, if he's scouting a little better, I still think he's in better shape than Foggy today. And that push against Moon looked so powerful. But Foggy saw that, of course, has to make some adjustments. As we have a joint. Concealed hill, eh? That means most likely no expansion. It seems like <laughs> if you're trying to expand against immolation on Concealed Hill, you belong in the mental asylum. So this uh, should be one base most likely. <laughs> and if it was somebody other than Fortitude, maybe even Pally, uh, Inner Fire Rifles. Dude, I think I've never seen Fortitude once play Inner Fire Rifles. I don't think he knows what the castle button does. <laughs> yeah, well, it... Uh... Opens up the way to tanks. He certainly knows that. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> Castle quite cheap nowadays. We get staff for cheap. Orb for cheap. And the castle itself also cheaper than it used to be a long time ago. Todd says, I want to make sure I'm here when Orc passes human in all-time earnings so Chiron can explain me why it is because they are smarter, stronger, and just generally practice harder than human players. Yeah, I think Chiron is right with that. Stronger, I don't know. Sock looks pretty buffed. And Orcs in general, rather fragile. I mean, Except Knopf. Yeah, I was about to say, bro. Don't you, don't you forget about Knopf, buddy. Oh, does Knopf even count as a player these days? I mean, humans, they got, they got Hawk, they got Reprisal, they got Sock. Dude, they're, they're you want to count... You, you don't want to count uh, <laughs> Knopf as active, but you want to count Reprisal as active? <laughs> yes. Hold up. I, I'll hold up. <laughs> I want to count Foggy and Fortitude as active because they are active on the map. The deciding map for the round of eight, which is going to be another GSL style group stage. Foggy upper right, 40 bottom left. Human got Reaver. Oh, True. Alrighty. Yeah. And orcs have, you know, Hitman and Soin. <laughs> Humans also have Infi. <laughs> <laughs> eh, that it's, he's playing all the races. Dude. Infi, Hitman, Cage cage Fight. How amazing <laughs> would that be? <laughs> we call it the Matchstick Brawl. Alrighty, Foggy. Is it Demon Hunter once again? Will you go back to the Keeper because you feel more comfortable? I think for 40 it's set in stone. It's one base, but... Maybe surprises us all. all. Demon Hunter, it is. Oh. Yeah, I thought he was going to use Treants here and creep the green, but I guess Immolation also works. Hmm. Roll me the Elves, creep uh, the first camp, pick up the item, go into the middle, creep the green, and go for the Murlocs there. Foggy perhaps concerned with getting pushed. That would make sense. Fortitude has shown the willingness to push early before, 
in this uh, scenario, the Demana would be at home with two items with level two. This could work out quite well indeed. Okay, scouts going on. By the way, I just remembered that uh, Coloss is playing Orc, so Orc win the strength battle because nobody is stronger than Coloss. Oh yeah, it's Coloss and Knopf. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> check the t two titans. GG. <laughs> Demon Hunter Immolation, indeed, that's a super quick level 2 demon. Dude, I can't... Dude, 40 is just straight up going for the lab creep first. <laughs> Look at the stones on this Crab King. And uh, you might think, hey, why are humans not do this every time? It's so fast, it's so good. Well, if this gets scouted and the Demon Hunter is just rushing straight over, it's probably GG. But the thing is also... Demon Hunter nowadays basically always wants to creep level 2 first. So this is pretty smart. The likelihood of the demon being busy for the first bit is extremely high. So this works out in the end. But uh, experience on both sides, very even indeed. And the demon got great items. So it's going to pick up a circlet here. Oh, it's actually going to creep this camp. Okay. How much damage is it going to take here? It's not the easiest camp. There's healing going on. There's inner fire. It's indeed annoying. Archmage level 2.5 afterwards. And yeah, one base confirmed, as we expected. Oh. We know Militia. our players in the Warcraft scene. Militia creeping the Ogre camp. Wait, is that a level 3? I, I think it is, right? Yeah. Ooh, that's going to be a strong timing. Buys the dust as well. And guess what? We don't have mana burn. Oh, damn. And it's boots time now. 40 can just grab them. Here we go. So it's very hard for the Demon Hunter now to run this Archmage down. Dude, 40 again in a wonderful position. At least Foggy knows it's coming early. Pulls back the Wisp right away. Maybe the Illusion can distract a bit. Alright, off we go. Hunting some Wisps. Ignoring archers, Walk Elementals take care of them, plus he has the dust. Demon Hunter deals with the footman as he should. But Wisps, oh, nice block by 40, preventing the Wisp juggle. And saving the footman to the side, wonderfully done. Yeah, one archer also killed. Footies will have to fall back at some point. Thing is also in the midst of all this chaos, uh, no Hunter's Hall came up yet. So, okay, now it is, right? Wisp over there. Yep, Hunter's Hall. So the lords are going to be a bit delayed as well. You know what the wise Yuri Neutron says. I knew you were going to say it. I mean, there's so many expenses for Night Elf. Can't afford lords immediately. Anyway, that water elemental, will it expire? Ah, last second. Nice little pressure. I like it. Not too many footmen killed. Demon Hunter 3 prevented for the time being. And yeah, footmen are disposable, but if you're not disposing to the Demon Hunter, that's quite nice. Tier 2 finishes, Naga comes out. Fortitude here. Definitely a bit behind with the tech timing. But that's good enough. Fog is trying to catch the IM, or perhaps even better, footies with his Naga. A little bit of healing here. Footmen are coming again. He wants these lores so bad. Oh, yeah. If he wants, he can be really annoying with the Imbo Potion as well. Oh, wow. Dude, that's a huge delay on the Dryads. Yep. Oh, my God. There's still a Waterman in, in the main base. The footies as well. Great play by 40. I guess Dryads will be skipped anyway for instant bears. As we've seen before, but even that, like, a later Riju is helping so much, and 40 is just unfolding his tier 2 play with Naga once again. All Foggy can do is Q tier 3. A player's a tough spot for Foggy, that's for sure. He needs level 3 Demon Hunter badly. It's one of the only good things he has. And I think this Water Elemental would do it, right? Oh, no, not quite. Oh, 6 XP. Archmage is a little hurt. That's annoying. But yeah, it's all about that pressure. Worst case, he can go... Wow! Triggers the invul right away to hunt these archers down. Pretty much exactly what he did to Moon. Mid-game aggression 
to diminish the damage. Oh, the Naga was eating a lot of damage with this Ancient of War. This is perhaps the first big mistake. But she's got the boots. She's still running away. There's still no mana burn. And more moon just being drained at the same time, of course. We have to remember that as well. Archmage in trouble. Might be forced into a TP. Not really. Can't follow. And this Naga is saved. This will require a lot of healing. And that is finally level 3 for the Demon But That took him 5 minutes and 10 seconds. The Watch Elemental in the main base. Oh, gets no. another cancel. Oh, God no. damn. 40. Really, really nice play. What a frustrating game for Foggy. You're supposed to dictate the game with emulation, of course. That's not the case. That's totally not the case. Has to prevent the healing now to delay the push. Which are called right away by the heroes here for 40. So a bit in trouble. Probably gonna have to TP out. Yep, does so early. Doesn't want to risk it too much. TP forced. All right. But there's also a lot of time for Foggy running across the entire map just to get the TP in the end. Ancient of War in the main base, he can't creep with that one. What's he going to do now? Well, 40 can't heal. He didn't build a shop this time. That's a bit annoying, so priests have to do all the work as well as Brilliant Zora. The push is weakened and a little delayed and the tech is unfolding for Foggy, so there is a slither of hope for the Foggy fans in the world. But it's time. It's damn time. We call the boys and we rush across. Oh. Wow. He's not even creeping the shop. He's not even getting an invo potion, heal scroll, anything. Nah, uh We go. It's fragile. Oh, we creep jack as well. Ooh, TP item on Foggy side, unholy aura. Kinda nice, of course. But Archer falls anyway. And Foggy has 28 supply to hold this push. Good luck to you. We'll That's never see a shop here by the peasants. Yeah. Should be their second goal. Tower first to burn mana and then shop right after. Foggy has more did get archers. To prove bows. I think that was very important. But he doesn't have much else. Gotta stay patient. Gotta stay focused. It's all time for the tower to come up. No shop just yet. And rejuvenation is online. There's still a chance for Foggy, but it's a small one. Ooh, the first bear. Slowed and killed. Perfect target fire. Naga in a bit of trouble far forward, but she's got the boots once more. The slows are there to control the demon hunter as well. Army's being split. And now it's the Naga. In trouble herself. The slows are absolutely perfect, hitting all the right targets. And the demon might be back next. Yeah, he has no TP. He's blocked. R rifles are blocking the way for once the unit Damn. block something else than themselves. And Fortitude saving the alliance and making it first place into the round of eight. Great play by 40. Absolutely wonderful. And even the one map that he lost, he could have won with better scouting. This is the best 40 I've seen in a long time and a much needed breath of fresh air for the humans. Yeah, and you know what? The way he played around Immolation was so nice. Relatively simple, if you look at it. It's like, in the mid-game fights, it's mostly slow and Naga. And yeah, then there is a way around Immolation if the Demon Hunter can never reach. It doesn't do much damage, and Foggy's Demon Hunter was just running around like a headless chicken, doing more or less nothing. A lot of aggression. And there we go. Without an expansion, just like that.